everyone and welcome for those of you who are new my name is Melissa and I'm thrilled that you chose to spend your free time with me today obviously things are not totally right here um, I have had laryngitis for the last three days and we're just gonna push through because I have too many things to show you guys and I don't want to miss out on the opportunity to do so so this week, what we are talking about is gifting. Um, gifting teachers, gifting neighbors, gifting staff. And I am going to um, send my teacher gifts to school with my kids tomorrow because it is actually their last day of school until break. And so all of my teacher gifts are going and I did not want to miss out on the opportunity to show you guys what we did in hopes that maybe you might be able to find some inspiration and use some of these gifts for yourself as well. So I hope that my voice is not insanely annoying for you um, and so distracting that you're not able to gain inspiration. But if it is, I guess all I can say is I'm sorry. Press mute and at least just watch the video to see how I did the things that I did. The first thing that I want to show you is how to prepare a um, gift card Christmas tree. So this is going to my kids' um, homeroom teachers as well as the um, school secretary, otherwise known as the school mom. Um, I just thought that it was a really great way to give something practical. Um, both in the Christmas tree as well as the um, gift cards. I just feel like gift cards are a way to basically give someone something that they can use no matter what. They can use it on gas, they can use it for presents. I mean, they're teachers. You know, unfortunately, they don't get paid what they should get paid. And a lot of the money that they put towards our kids every year comes from their own pockets. And so this is just kind of a way for them to replenish that and use it in the way that, you know, they need to use it. And so this is just a really cute and fun way to kind of give back to them, um, but then also give them something that they can use to make their home feel uh, Christmassy as well. So this is the gift that we are giving to our kids' teachers and it's just a really pretty pine tree and I love it because it actually came with this carrying case already and this is just from Target um, but the really cool thing is that inside the back here it comes with this little set of ornaments and twinkle lights and so I just thought that that was really really cool um, I got this from Target and when I purchased it, the little um, ornaments and lights were right here in the front, but I did not want those to be in the front, so I just moved it to the back. Um, and then I'm going to show you how to make these ornaments um, for the gift cards. I have one there and then one here on the side and one on this side and obviously when they take it out it will look a lot more you know like a Christmas tree with ornaments but um, inside it just kind of keeps it compact I like the fact that it has a bag around it so that um, I don't have to worry about the ornaments you know falling off at least if they fall off they're going to be inside of the bag so because I was not interested in spending a ton of money on a um, paper cutter, like, you know, the, the punch kind, I just went ahead and used some Tupperware that I had in my kitchen to um, go ahead and cut out my ornaments. So I just traced them, and I'll show you how I did that. And then... Um, what you'll need is just some cardstock, whatever kind you want to go ahead and put your ornaments together. So I did one in the red and green, one in the white and green, and then this one will be in the white and red. And then you'll just need some of the really small um, Christmas um, ornament hooks 
obviously if you have the longer ones it's not a big deal um, I just saw these and thought that they might be better on the trees you will need some um, glue uh, I prefer the glue stick just because it's not as messy also with this one it dries clear so even if you get it on the front you're not going to be able to see it you'll need a hole punch and um, a pencil and then just some of these little sticky uh, address labels so the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to decide what color you want on the back side of your ornament so for me i'm going to do the white so i'm going to need the bigger circle to do that with so i just set that down and i just trace around it this is so easy friends i can't even tell you um, I literally did these, um, all of these except for this one in, I mean it was less than 10 minutes. So you're just going to cut out your circle. And don't worry if there's like a little bit of pencil on the back, it doesn't matter, you're just going to flip it over to the opposite side anyway. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take your smaller um, circle and you are actually going to um, trace that twice and I'll tell you why. One is for the actual ornament itself. And then the other one you are going to cut in half and that's going to be where you place your card. So for me, I just always find that it's easier to cut individual pieces rather than both out of the same sheet. So I just always kind of cut the pieces out first and then I go ahead and cut individually. So there is that one. And then is this one all right so now I have my two pieces I'm going to turn them upside down the first one that I have I am going to just put on a piece of paper and I'm going to turn it opposite side over so the side that has all of the pencil markings on it I'm going to turn that side as my glue side and then I'm just going to stick this right in the middle and then what I'm going to do with my other circle is I'm just going to fold this in half And I'm going to cut it right down that line. And then I'm going to go along just the edges of the circle. And this is going to create the pocket for our gift card. And so I'll bring this over here and then just line it up with the base of the circle just like this and then just press along where you glued it and like I said I love this glue because it dries clear and so I don't have to worry about having like white all over everywhere and so there's that and then I just take my hole punch and I find about center and I just punched my hole and then what we did is I asked my kids to give me three reasons that they liked their teachers um, as well as our um, school secretary slash school mom and so they each gave me um, three for their teacher and then for our um, school secretary they both put something that they um, liked about her obviously I wrote it 
and then I put something from my husband and myself and um, that way it's something from our whole family. And then what you are going to do is I just put a little piece of tape on the back of the card right here. That way when I stick it inside here, it just kind of secures to the paper and I don't have to worry about it falling out. So then I just obviously push there and then I'm going to attach my hook. Just like that. And then just continue to do that on the other two ornaments. Now on this, it actually came with a little um, gift tag right here, but I would, but I just wanted to do my own. And so on the back here, where they actually have the barcode to scan it, I just went ahead and took a large label and just wrote Merry Christmas from our family and stuck it on that. And then all I'm going to do is just attach my um, ornaments and we'll be done. And I just stick these right here, kind of one on each side and then one in the front. And that's it, just a really easy way to put together something that is both practical and beneficial for them um, and something that they can use after they take off the ornaments. They can decorate the tree and um, just put it in their home to give their home a warm and cozy Christmas view. All right, so the things that you are going to need for this project is some scrap paper, which I have here. And then I have already cut out my um, templates for my card. And then you'll also need some little gold brads, some embroidery thread, glue, and just tiny little buttons. Now, I cut out on another scrap uh, piece of paper just a template of the size of card that I actually wanted. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna trace this on the back of my um, cardstock that I am using uh, with the pattern. So, I'm just gonna trace that out. And then cut this really quick. And then what I'm going to do just to make um, this pattern pop a little bit more is I'm going to glue this to a white piece of paper and then just cut kind of a border, if you will, around the patterned cardstock. So I'm just going to put the glue on the back of that and then just kind of line this up where it's going to have just a little bit of the white edge around it. And then I'm going to go in and just finish it off on the other two sides. And as you can see, it just kind of makes the camouflage stand out a little bit more than if it were just on its own. Next, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm gonna do the lapel. And with this shape, I just cut kind of a triangle. And it just basically goes from one end to almost the other end of the card. And just to give it a little bit more dimension, I am going to layer it. And so, 
what I'm gonna do is just glue this on the back and then I'm just gonna glue it to um, just a scrap piece of paper in the same color and then just the same thing I am going to go back and just kind of cut a little border around the edge. Just like that. So you can just kind of see where there's just a little edge around here and just kind of adds a little bit more dimension. So we did that with this and now I'm going to do the same thing with my pockets. I've already cut the camouflage part of it and I just cut a square and then um, just kind of nipped off the bottoms. And then the same thing, I am just gluing this to the red and then I will trim around just to give it an outline. And I know some of you are probably thinking, what on earth did she choose these colors for? It's Christmas time. Um, or this is not, you know, the typical man suit, uh, which you are correct. But I actually have kind of a backstory, inside joke, whatever you want to call it, with the principal. So this, and it goes along with this color scheme. So, and so this just kind of makes sense and will make sense to him. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put the stitching in um, to the lapel as well as the pocket square. And I have found that the easiest way to do this is to just take a stick pin and go through and just kind of pre-drill, if you will, the holes into um, what you're wanting to thread. Because if you try and do that with uh, the needle and yarn, it's just not, it's not gonna go well. Um, you're gonna bend your paper because you're trying so hard and it, trial and error has um, showed me that this is the best way. So just go ahead and pre-stick your um, lapel. And then when you pre-stick your pocket, you just wanna make sure that you only do the sides and the bottom and not the top because that's actually where um, you are going to stick your gift card into. Now that you have pre-stuck your pocket, what you are going to do is go along and pre-stick your card as well because this is actually where you are going to um, sew your pocket to. And if it helps you to kind of put a little bit of sticky tape under there to make sure that um, you know you're not getting off track from your holes then absolutely feel free to do that all right so all of our things are stuck and now I'm just going to thread my needle and then we will start sewing. So you're just going to line up, and I always start from underneath. All right, now we're just gonna continue to sew around um, the outline of our pocket. And then to tie it off, I just do a tiny little stitch right beside that one at the top and pull it down in there. And then that way I can 
just come back here and um, separate my threads and just tie a knot. And don't worry about any of this. I'll show you how we're gonna cover all of that up. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to finish doing the stitching on um, the lapel. And then when you're finished, it should look like that. And now what I'm going to do is just separate my strings and just tie a knot. in my um, string. Now what I'm going to do is take my um, remaining side of my cardstock. I'm going to glue this to the back with regular glue and then flip it over and go ahead and just cut out on the line. All right, and now that I have the back put on there, I just put a little message down here on the bottom and the front is um, ready for the remaining parts. So what I did was I took the buttons that I had and I pre-threaded them So they have the little white stitch and then on my um, Little I don't even know what these are called, but I know you guys know what they are uh, I went ahead and I just cut off the back of them That way it's just the metal part and now what I'm going to do is with my hot glue gun, I am just going to put a couple little drops of glue right on the top here for my brads. And then for my next one, that one right here. And then last we are going to put on our buttons. What you're going to do is just put some glue on the back and stick that where you want it to go. And there it is, there is your card. And now all you need to do is slip inside your gift card. And now you have a more thoughtful way to gift someone a gift card. Hey everyone and welcome. For those of you who are new, my name is Melissa and I'm thrilled that you chose to spend your free time with me today. Obviously, things are not totally right here. Um, I have had laryngitis for the last three days and we're just going to push through because I have too many things to show you guys and I don't want to miss out on the opportunity to do so. So this week what we are talking about is gifting. Um, gifting teachers, gifting neighbors, gifting staff, and I am going to um, send my teacher gifts to school with my kids tomorrow because it is actually their last day of school until break. <clears throat> because it is actually their last day of school before break. And so all of my teacher gifts are going and I did not want to miss out on the opportunity to show you guys what we did in hopes that maybe you might be able to find some inspiration and use some of these gifts for yourself as well. The first one that I wanted to show you So I hope that my voice is not insanely annoying for you um, and so distracting that you're not able to gain inspiration But if it is I guess all I can say is I'm sorry press mute and at least just watch the video to see how I did the things that I did the first thing that I want to show you is how to prepare a um, gift card Christmas tree. So this is going to my kids' um, homeroom teachers as well as the um, school secretary 
otherwise known as the school mom. Um, I just thought that it was a really great way to give something practical, um, both in the Christmas tree as well as the um, gift cards. I just feel like gift cards are a way to basically give someone something that they can use no matter what. They can use it on gas, they can use it for presents. I mean, they're teachers. You know, unfortunately, they don't get paid what they should get paid. And a lot of the money that they put towards our kids every year comes from their own pockets. And so this is just kind of a way for them to replenish that and use it in the way that, you know, they need to use it. And so this is just a really cute and fun way to kind of give back to them. Um, but then also give them something that they can use to make their home feel uh, Christmassy as well. Hey everyone and welcome back. If you are new here, my name is Melissa and obviously I sound a little bit strange. I have had laryngitis for the last four days and we're just gonna muster through this because I have too many things that I wanna show you and I do not wanna miss out on the opportunity to do so. So the first... <coughs> So in keeping with, so this week we are talking about gifting. <clears throat> so this week we're talking about gifting and this is gifting staff, gifting teachers, gifting neighbors, anybody that you need, um, anybody that you want to give a gift to, friends, um, you know, people at your church, anybody outside of the people who are going to be sitting around your Christmas tree or who are part of your immediate family. Um, so this is my kids last week of school before break and I wanted to show you a gift that we are actually preparing for their principal. Now their principal is a male and sometimes that can be a little bit tricky just because I guess for me, I'm a female, and so I feel like um, it's a little bit easier for me to shop for females. And I never want to like give an awkward gift that might, you know, be taken the wrong way. And so I, um, <clears throat> and so I reached out to my best friend who is a teacher, and I asked her, "What are the things?" that teachers and staff want, um, you know, around the holidays, around the end of the year, all of that. And the number one thing that she said was gift cards or money. That's what we want. We don't want a mug. We don't want any of the other stuff, just gift cards and money. And if you think about it, a lot of the things that <clears throat> And if you think about it, a lot of the things that teachers, you know, provide for our kids during the year, quite a bit of that actually comes out of their own pockets. And so gift cards for me is just kind of a way to maybe replenish and give them something that they can use for themselves, for other people, for Christmas gifts that maybe they still need to get. So what I'm doing today is showing you a way that you can put together a gift card for a teacher or a principal, but still have it be fun and creative and not, you know, just a gift card in an envelope. So if you can muster through listening to my voice, I am gonna show you how I did that. And if you can't, I'm sorry. And I guess all I can suggest to you is to just press mute and watch what I do. I hope that you guys were able to gain some inspiration from this video. And if you have some additional suggestions or ideas that you have used in the past or that you're using this year to give to your teachers, 
I would absolutely love to hear them and I'm sure everybody else here on this channel would agree. Guys, thank you so much for having patience with me. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that I have been trying so hard to get my voice back so that I could do videos for you. This is actually the first day that I have even had this amount of voice. I joke that this happens to me every single December. I think it's because I just push myself so hard that my body just finally says stop. But I joke that this is actually my husband's favorite present every single Christmas. If you are not following me on Instagram, I would love it if you would jump over there and do so. The handle is down below. We are actually doing Elf on the Shelf this year. This is our eighth year of doing so. And if you wanna follow along the shenanigans that happen here in our home, that is the perfect place to do so. Also, I post almost daily over there, and so it's just a way to better get to know me outside of an edited video. Also, if you are not yet subscribed to this channel, click on that subscribe button as well as the bell, and what that will do is notify you every time I post a new video so that you do not have to keep coming back and looking to see if I have anything new. So until next time, friends, I just encourage you to create a life that you absolutely love living and will not need a vacation from. Pray for the voice, friends. I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.